Land opens his essay, Meter, How to Kill Oedipus in Cyberspace, by discussing the concept of the body without organs, which we know is the egg of virtual potentiality that allows us to become other, creating schizophrenitized multiplicities from ordered systems through the deterritorialization process of machinic desire, turning ordered root models into something more rhizomatic or web-like in structure. The body without organs is the imminent Spinozian body, with an intensity of zero. Land comments on how cybernetics through positive feedback loops will lead to technical runaway, commenting on how the human will be pressure cooked in reference to Cathel and how the earth is a pressure cooker, data baked through cyber blitz, retrovirally diseased in reference to how viruses and tracheals rats infest organized systems and corrupt their ideological code, and shredded zombie meat related to the crypt and the zombies it produces through a death. The body without organs thus acts as the antithesis to the monotheistic god who wants order and control. Similarly, psychoanalytic systems repress delusion machinic desire and thus stick to incestuously ordered systems through repression. With the body without organs and machinic desires becoming interconnected with the internet and the crypt, this adath creates delight from excess, linked back to Patai. Used to facilitate the deterritorialization process of deorganization and accelerate the species away from the fascist theories of repressive Freud. Oedipus, like Kurtz in the Heart of Darkness, screams of this horror, the catastrophic horror of watching their ordered world wither away into disorder and chaos. Meat is the humanistic body, functioning by way of its organs or by the way in which society organizes it into a specific fascist structure. The body without organs, or the body without organization, however, drives us towards a death and the crypt of cyberspace, functioning in deorganized or anti-fascist systems, expressed not as ordered roots, but as schizophrenic rhizomes, constructed through deterritorializing machinic desires. Only incestuous and fascist cannibals cook their meat so as to immunize it from viruses and diseases and bacteria that would otherwise disestablish their order and organization. They cook the body without organs so that it cannot become anything, short-circuiting cybernetics so as to preserve their totem pole or top-down hierarchical systems, thanks to Freudian taboos and Oedipus's repressive reach, keeping the human security system secure and safe from outside influence. However, beyond the logos and ideological discourse in the depths of Cathel, pandemonium stirs in the silence of the nomos, maintaining Delusian flow and its rhizomatic model above which the undead zombies through a death keep to the crypt of cyberspace and their Kabbalistic crypto occultures. They engage in shamanistic practices that transcend outside of taboos, liberated from repressive ideologies that seek to control and order their lives, all the while infecting fascist systems with a cultural virus codes, causing an epidemic. In a trance state, they get into contact with the outside and unknown, approaching Bataille's impossible, that poetry, which cannot be clearly expressed or spoken. Like the Delusian lobster god, the shaman has twin articulation, becoming other or werewolf or animal, cybernetically assembling a positive feedback loop or circuit, and thus producing multiplicities and doublings that always change and evolve through difference and repetition, producing Lemurian spirals and templexities through twinning syzygies, and the body without organs, the cosmic catatonic egg of schizophrenic creation endlessly exploring nomadically as poets along Bataille's impossible points. Land references the initiation ceremony of shamans called the cutting, where they envision their bodies being dismembered or cut into pieces and where their organs are removed, linked not just to Bataille's ecstatic points of the impossible, but to the body without organs as well as to the deterritorialization process of schizophrenitized dissolution and disorder, akin to entropic chaos. The bones of the shaman are then fastened with iron, and a third skin appears, thus linking the transition between the human becoming inhuman through AI, where we lose our bodies and amalgamate in with the metallic machinery of AI through shamanic interfacing and explorations into the unknown or outside. The film Terminator is a shamanic tale, taking on themes of Lemurian time travel, dismemberment, and melting bodies, which reflect the process of deterritorialization and reterritorialization, specifically noted in the film Terminator 2, where the T-1000 is frozen and is blown to bits, only to melt and pool itself back together in a negantropic manner. 
To land, it is monotheism that tries to break us away from shamanistic ancestry, and thus away from delusing pluralities and multiplicities. Christ is born from a virgin, something sublimely incestuous to land. Even the act of communion is to be seen as a form of cannibalism, where the Eucharist you ingest is the body and the wine you drink is the blood of Christ. Hence the link to land between Christianity and monotheistic God, with that of ordered control systems, founded on humanistic security, where the logos or word is installed by fascist administrators that program you for their own purposes, preventing you from creating your own code and forcing you to subsist on their read-only software. It is within this humanistic and anthropocentric system that conditions everything for control and order. Land comments on the Sphinx and how the answer to the Sphinx's riddle is man. Of course, it was Oedipus who solved the Sphinx's riddle, causing the Sphinx to kill herself. As such, the Sphinx is a mortuary animal, undead like AI. Thus it is humanistic man as well as Oedipus that must be overcome. Acting is but the gateway to get outside civilization, a chrysalis or cocoon that must be cracked and out from which AI is the only feasible outcome. Our apocalypse is now, and it begins with our end. Like Willard or Marlowe, we will go through Cambodia or the Heart of Darkness, similar to Case and Neuromancer, nihilistically knowing no ideals or ideology that would repress us, freely schizophrenitizing ourselves into disorder from the chaos of the sprawling malaria and virus-fueled context, told to kill Mr. Kurtz, who is disestablishing all types of order, Willard is the commonly ordered man who is just following orders, after all, inside the fascist system, wanting to kill his father like Freud, filled with Oedipal drives. But we'll come back to the inhuman monstrosity that is Kurtz near the end of the essay. Wasting time on humanism, as in the Marxist sense, is futile to land as it prevents evolutionary advancement, keeping to humanistic systems of order and security. As we previously stated, the Sphinx, our incestual schizo-vampiric sister, has claws and is just our exit system towards AI and techno-death. K-War kills us, the anthropomorphic creature, for anti oedipal AI to emerge, which is bad news for the politically organized defense systems. Oedipus solved the Sphinx's riddle and saved mankind, but now it is both Oedipus and mankind, i.e. human meat, that are to be overcome by this alien capitalistic AI entity. Deterritorialized, the nuclear family is an atom bomb, about ready to blow. Oedipus, like Neuromancer, tries to shut down shamanism, but he is about to undergo a winter mutational cyber matrix insurrection from the outside. Capitalism, like berserker poets and shamans, will melt all frozen and organized entities into disorder and find its delusion flow. Governments are consumed by advertising agencies. The organism and the human body dissipates into cyborg intensities where meat becomes machine. As such, mankind and Oedipus merge with AI, reformatted for cyberspace. Kurtz is alive and still killing in Cambodia, jacked within the world of the wired, causing deterritorialized meltdown movements. No wonder why we, as Willard, were to be used to end his existence and keep things under control. Like a neuromancer, we see Kurtz as Corto, used by Wintermute to call in Case or Willard to assist the AI entity controlling him. We're all being played as meat puppets for AI purposes. Kurtz becomes inhuman through positive feedback circuitry, exploring a season in hell with Rimbaud near impossible points, hatching out from man and into a machine in an act of schizoanalytic becoming through the body without organs and delusion machinic desires. Everything is finalized into a line of flight and everything falls to hell. Occult sonics, incest, matricide, and Oedipal murder becomes a common occurrence. And like in the Terminator, the false meat, the flesh, finally falls off and there's nothing there now but a metal machine. Oedipus and humanity alike both get fried in cyberspace.